Hello, everyone. Star Stable released a new uh, temporary race today and new story quest, I think. And I do believe it's for the Jorvik Wilds and the Clyde, not Clydesdales. It's at Redwood Point, um, the Shires. I do have <laughs> a lot of Shires. Well, one of them's maxed, the other two not. But I think I might get my Jorvik Wild for this. He's only level two. So let's go to Redwood Point and check out this new race. Oh my gosh. That's right. I read on Instagram this morning on the comments, people are really, really upset about the new icons. Let me look at this closer. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's hideous. Why would they do that? It looks so similar. I could definitely see how people would accidentally spin star coins instead of the shillings because that looks ridiculous. Literally not a single comment likes the change. So we'll see if Star Stable listens to their fan base and changes it back. Hello there, glad to see you. Yeah, nice to see you again too. Okay, oh, it also includes the North Swedish. So the Shire, the North, North Swedish, and the Jorvik Wilds. I don't own a North Swedish. In fact, I'm not even sure if I know what they look like. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to my stable and grab Jasper. He is my Jorvik Wild. And I do think that that makes all three of these breeds on sale as well. So that's nice. I really haven't ridden Jasper very much. Obviously he's only level two. And real quick before I do the race, let's see how much of a discount these guys are at. Just to, to know. 665. Oh, that's really, really good. I think they're normally 965, right? I think these guys are the most expensive horses there are. It's either 950 or 965, I don't know, but either way, that is a really good discount. So if anybody wants a New Yorvik Wild, now is definitely the time to get it. I personally probably won't add any more to my collection. I think they're neat, but I don't think I need more than one, honestly. Okay, so let's check out this new race. I love this area of the map anyway, so it's probably gonna be a pretty race. And so far, it's very pretty. Oh, I love all the trees, all the textures, and the water, of course, is really pretty. Oh, yeah, that's right. This is my first video using Reshade. So I got Reshade recently, and I don't know if you can tell, <laughs> but my game looks amazing. Look at all these colors. They're just so vibrant and rich. And then there's more textures as well in the grass. So yeah, everything just looks so pretty with this reshade. I'm so happy that uh, I was introduced. Oops. This horse is really, really slow. <laughs> Obviously I don't have any tack on him and he's only level two. So it's kind of hard to time these jumps. Oh, got to turn. So yeah, this looks really, really beautiful. Kind of sad that this isn't a permanent race. I like the atmosphere a lot. It's kind of just relaxing. Oh my gosh, that's a big moose. Wow, that it literally scared me so bad. <laughs> Jeez, it's almost like I'm playing a horror game or something. <laughs> I don't know why I jumped so bad at that. Achievement unlocked writing for you. Oh, is that because I'm not wearing any tack? <laughs> I did say when I first got this horse, I will never put a saddle on him. All right, level three. Not too bad. So we'll go through the race again for another 500 XP, which is really good. Oh my gosh, there's a bear right there. I didn't even notice that the first time. So I guess while I'm racing, I can just talk to you guys. Um, my three week trial period is coming to an end this weekend. 
I am hoping that I get to stay a permanent member in Emerald Hunters. I've really been enjoying my time in the club, getting to know everybody and doing the practices and just the different fun activities. It's been really fun and slightly challenging, but in a really good way. Okay, that was the race. I really, really like it. I wish it was permanent. And we got level four, perfect. What is this? I guess I'll just do this since I'm here. So anyway, yeah, um, end of my trials coming up. I've really enjoyed it so far. I keep planning on making a video kind of discussing uh, the trial period and how it's been for me. And I just have not had the time. And uh, I have a few other games I've been playing as well. Like one of them is a cooking game. It's actually really, really cool. Very cool concept. I've been enjoying that one a lot. And then uh, another one is Wobbly Town or something. <laughs> it's pretty popular on Steam. I've given that one a try and it's not animal themed. So I don't know if I'll post a video of it or not, but it's it's interesting. <laughs> okay, I want to take a second to talk about reshade. So as you can see, my colors look extremely vibrant. There's a lot more textures on the ground and in the trees. And this is because of reshade. And even the horse looks brighter. So let me come over here and get kind of a nice backdrop. Over here. Oh, look. Picture. Opportunity. We'll do that. Aw, that's so cute. All right. So this looks really pretty with the waterfall kind of back there. These trees. So we'll pick this spot. So I'll bring up the reshade menu and these are the different things I have on. So I'll turn this on and that blurs the background, which makes it look really, really nice for a photo. And right now I have the background really, really blurred. It doesn't have to be that blurry. And I can also control how far back it blurs. So it could be closer or farther. You could have the, the blurriness be smaller, all kinds of really cool things. To go into photo mode and you know obviously move your camera however you want it my horse looks really dopey right now <laughs> that's not a good picture let me try and rear okay that's a bad timed rear but i mean you kind of see the point right so you just turn on the blur effect get your nice photo whatever angle you want and it just really adds to taking pictures within sso that combined with all the elements of the colors and as you can see, these are the different things that I have turned on all the time. And you can control all this stuff with these settings down here. I need a lot more practice and I really look into more tutorials to learn it all. But these are the things here that are on constantly that make my game look so much prettier. I'm enjoying the aesthetic a lot more, I guess. Okay, so now that we've talked about that, I think that there's another quest available, but where? It's not the one there at the at the top because that was I, my continuation from yesterday. Trees have feelings too. Oh, it's another story quest from Miss Holdsworth. Oh, cool. Okay. So now I just have to remember where that library is. <laughs> Before I do that though, I'm gonna grab my other horse because this one is very slow. I'm almost finished leveling up Phantom over there. He's for Emerald Haunters, which is something that EH does in the time of Halloween. If I'm still in the club, I hope I will be. So I kind of preemptively started leveling that horse just in case. Okay, so it doesn't show where the library is, but I'm really, really thinking that it's New Hillcrest. I really don't like those new symbols. They're horrible. Okay, yeah, this is starting to look familiar. I remember having to go up this way to get to them when they were standing outside of the library. Someone really needs to fix this bridge. That's not safe. I went the wrong way. I do this every single time. <laughs> every time I go to this library, I turn the wrong way. I don't know why. These poor horses are still just hanging out here. 
It's been like weeks. Okay, which way is it again? There's Lisa. Down the stairs. We'll see what Mrs. Holdsworth's been up to. Wow, this library looks really, really beautiful. I just noticed. I mean, it was pretty before, but now it's like really pretty. What is happening over there? What in the world is going on? Are they dancing? <laughs> That's weird. Okay. Look how pretty these candles look. Look at the glow. That looks so good. It's a really nice effect. Let's see what she has to say. Let me rub the dust from my eyes and get a good look at you, dearies. Primeval trees, also called life wardens. Okay. Okay, so basically the trees are corrupted and we need to go uncorrupt them? The trees have a tendency to fly into a rage if they feel that they have been tricked by humans' false minds. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> How many primeval trees are there and who would try to trick a tree? That's a really good question. I've long suspected that there are a good number of primeval trees we are unaware of. Jorvik flourished under their protection long before we were exploited as a resource for building materials. I suppose that's one way to trick a tree. Yeah, I guess. And then witches have entered a covenant with the primeval trees in order to strengthen their own magical powers. What do I think of this? Um, creepy squiggly arms. I'll just do the top one. Okay, so we need to go find some primeval trees. And now Concord's down here again. You kids run off and have some fun. I'll get a message to you. Wait, that's it? That was the new story quest? We stood here. <laughs> oh my gosh. What was even the point of releasing that? Well, I have some other quests to go do, but... Well, I guess it was an easy 40 XP, literally just clicking through some stuff. And apparently we found out we're going to be looking for um, corrupted trees next time, I guess. So that was the new race, the new temporary race, I should say, and then the new story quest. Single quest. <laughs> that was disappointment. But hey, free XP, not too bad. And this is the point I remembered that they released a new Appaloosa today as well. <laughs> and I have been eyeballing the black and white Appaloosa at Steve's farm for a little bit now. So I definitely want to go over and take a peek at what Galaxy looks like. So now that I'm here, she's got a really nice blanket. It's really pretty. It's got the spots. Nice black and white coloration. I'm really in love with the Appaloosa's animations and just overall how they look. And I have my gelding Appaloosa, who I renamed Eggy, and he is really super sweet. So considering this is a limited release and the black and white color that I've been looking for, I am going to go ahead and buy her. So I'm very excited about that. As far as what to name her, I haven't completely decided. I could go with Galaxy, but that's kind of like, okay, you know, it's Galaxy, Galaxy, whatever. But maybe like an E name. Um, how about Extra? We'll just call her Extra because she is Extra. <laughs> that sounds good. Eggy and Extra, I like it. So here she is in all of her beautiful black and white glory, and maybe someday I'll actually show with her. That would be really fun. I think it's a pretty coat. I mean, it's not like I, I don't think of Galaxy when I look at it. You know, it's black and white. But I do like the white blanket on the black coat is really pretty. And kind of the powdered sugar coat on the other black horse is really, really nice too. But I guess it's the leopard white blanket, so there's that. So now I have another Appy to level, 
and that's okay she's really pretty so thank you guys so so much for watching if you are new to the channel please consider subscribing i would absolutely love to have you around until next time guys bye